What's going on guys? How you doing today? Welcome back to the second base camp. Uh, so yesterday I filmed a whole bunch of digging and fooling around and getting blocks in and rocks in and stuff and it uh, was a lot of work and uh, I'm really glad I put that time and effort in because it's going to make today a lot easier. So I realized that uh, maybe these were a bit too low, a little unstable. So uh, fortunately, a family member had uh, some off-island gravel because you have to purchase the gravel off-island. Uh, so I grabbed a bunch of that here to uh, level out the top three blocks and the bottom three blocks. Uh, as you can see, I bought more cinder blocks. The point behind that is to raise up this side. So it's a little more level with the upper level. So there's a little less, a little less like posting. I don't want the posts to be too high on one side, too low on the other, where it could push and pull a little bit if the ground should shift. So I'm just guessing with that. I'm not sure if it's going to do that, but I'd rather have it all stable and secure. I'm going to add at least one extra cinder block to each of the back one, which are the lower ones, and I'm just going to level as best I can the three up front. And then whatever gravel I have left over is going to go to uh, maybe another set of three in the center, but not as deep and not as heavy. But as you can see, I got a fair bit of gravel. It was a lot of carrying, but uh, you know, it's, it's surprisingly heavy, but you don't get a lot for it. So I'm going to uh, enjoy my coffee. I just got here. It's super early in the morning and uh, I already broke a heavy sweat getting this stuff up here. So uh, I figure I'll take a quick break, cool down a little bit. The sun hasn't crested onto the site yet, which is fantastic. I'd like to get most of this done before the sun gets at its highest point and it's going to be about 30 degrees, maybe a bit higher with the Humidex. So uh, try and get it done early and then I can kind of maybe enjoy the rest of the day doing other chores. Uh, I really would like to move this uh, stand that I built and put it over here. So I'll have to flatten an area out there and as well maybe flatten out an area on the left side for lumber and things like that in the future. So yeah, lots to do as always. Uh, so I'm going to enjoy my coffee and I'm going to get cracking here in a minute. So as you can see, I did a pretty good job of getting these raised up with some bigger rocks. So now the goal is to put more fine rocks, such as this gravel, underneath it and to give it a more level base. I'm just going to use a basic hand level that I use at work, just something to give me a rough idea. It doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be pretty good. Um, but I'm going to try and make it as perfect as I can. Uh, just because, you know, it's supposed to be long term, so you don't want to goof on it day one. Uh, you might be wondering why I made the holes so big. It's because I got a feeling I'm going to need to adjust them to the left or the right based on the structure because I had no way to, to, to really get a perfect angle on each corner and each line. So I wanted a little wiggle room so I could move them around. And as this all goes well, this will look pretty good. I don't want it to be, well, I don't want, I want it to look good, but I'm not too worried if it's a little shoddy, but I think with this gravel, it'll give it a nice finishing touch and uh, it'll serve the purpose that I need. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Dead level.
Womp womp. So that side needs to come up. Bingo. Okay, so these are really good. Uh, it's a good starting point. I can't really say I'm going to leave them in this spot because the fact is when I adjust down there, it's going to change the distance from there to here and so on and so forth. So this is a good starting. I'm just trying to see if I could level it nice and easy. Worked out great. So I'm confident that when I'm done down there, I'll be able to have a nice symmetrical and level structure or within reason and then make adjustments with the floor, but minor adjustments, not major adjustments like big posts. So that's the goal. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm trying to get a visual representation of how level these will be with this. And they'll give me at least an idea how much gravel I need for each one. So hopefully I have enough. I think I do, but you know, we'll just do with what we got. Just from visual inspection, looks good. Just from visual inspection down the hill a little bit, it looks like they're gonna work out really well. So I'm just gonna level a nice layer of gravel and then see how they look after that.
So everything's worked out well so far. Even when I got done that, all three of those are fairly level, which like in line with each other, which is really good. Uh, that means we have less adjustments. So the next goal will be to take my little measuring stick I made the other day and just try and get it in the rough spot where all the corners are going to go. And that will give me the start that I need uh, for the floor. And then I think I will put two or three cinder blocks in the center as well to give it extra support. Since I bought them, they're here. I can use them. It's just might as well, except I'm not going to dig down as easy. I'm just going to take the top layer off and then use a little bit of gravel uh, to level it out a little bit. Now that's pretty much it. Looking really good so far, that's for sure. Okay, so as you can tell, I had to pull the two corner posts in a bit. So they're off center from where they were originally laid. It's just the way it's going to be. It won't look as good, but you know what? How many days am I going to spend staring at my own foundation? Probably none. So my plan worked out the way I wanted it to. I created a big space so that they can be adjusted. And that was the whole point. Now, this isn't the most uh, level stick, but they are fairly straight and right in the center. It is dead level right now. So if I can help it, I'm not gonna move it or adjust it at all. I'm extremely happy with where everything is right now. Uh, this is gonna give me a good shot at doing what I need to do. What I might do though, is I might grab another couple buckets of gravel later and then just fill it around the edges so they kind of top up and then secure that bottom brick. And uh, yeah, should be good. it's not too bad these center ones are a little low um, so I'll just need a, like two or three more buckets of gravel which I might just go back and get and come back then it's done with uh, and I just might need more gravel period so I'm gonna think I might head back to the house get a few more buckets of gravel bring it back then it's here and uh, I guess the other option is I could build down and add another cinder block, but I think I'll just level it up. It's just easier to level it up. So. Okay, so I picked up a little bit more gravel. Uh, as you can kind of see, if I move the dog here, thanks buddy, uh, I'm about an inch, a couple inches shy. Yeah, about an inch. So I'm going to build this up and then try and get it semi-level. This guy right here is level right now. However, these guys are now not, just because I've made some adjustments. Oh, buddy, watch out, watch out. Oh, easy, easy, there you go. Come on over here, come on. Oh, you're just getting tangled everywhere. All right, come on over, come on, come on. Uh, Yeah, so I'm just gonna raise these up with the gravel. I'm not gonna dig down any deeper. I just wanna get it done, out of the way. And uh, again, all adjustments will be made on the day that I start actually building the, the frame and putting joists and that kind of thing. So yeah, we'll uh, get this underway. All right guys, all done. Uh, it took a long time to get these kind of guys right where I wanted them. Um, I put a little dirt out and just kind of spread it around just so it wasn't mohills all over the place. Uh, turned out really well. Everything's pretty even, but I won't be able to make the final touches until basically I have the materials to build, start building the floor. Uh, for now, it looks really good. I also moved my uh, my stand over there. Uh, it's in a much better spot. It's a better working area, so that's good. Uh, the reason I didn't film is because I was basically uh, just sweating like crazy. It's 30 plus degrees right now. The sun's out. It's well past noon, but it's high in the sky. So, yeah, it's it's been kind of muggy and yicky. So I didn't figure you really wanted to see that. So, so I apologize for the probably short video this is going to be. But again, it's just an update. So. Everything's going really well, so yeah, yeah. I'm pretty happy with it too. So, anyways, guys, so uh, hope you enjoyed this and uh, take care.